This is going to be a real quick tutorial in using Excel's statistical features so that we can find the mean and standard deviation of this data set. Notice first off that all of these values are in different columns. And in order for this to work, I want to go ahead and move all of this data and then I also want to move this data so that they are all lined up in r columns A, B, and C. In order to do that, I'm going to use the cut and paste feature. First, I'm going to left click in this cell and then I'm going to left click and hold and drag and highlight all three of these and I'm going to right click and I'm going to left click cut then I'm going to left click in this spot right click and I am going to insert cut cells I'm going to shift my cells down and notice that I have now moved all that data to right here. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to left click and hold and highlight all of this. I'm going to right click, left click cut, scroll down, left click in this cell, right click and left click insert cut cells and shift my cells down. You'll notice now all the data is in three single columns. I do not need these anymore, so I'm going to left click and highlight, right click, and I'm going to delete, left click. And I'm going to shift the cells left, and they're gone. Now, let's go ahead and use the statistical capabilities of Excel. You're going to left click where it says formulas, and then you're going to left click more functions, and then statistical you don't need to left click that you're just gonna highlight it and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna scroll down now there are two different types of standard deviation that we're gonna talk about but first let me address in Excel they don't use the word mean they use the word average now there's a number of different possibilities for averages here in the statistical part of Excel but we just simply want to find average and if you left click average it's going to ask you to input your range now there's a couple things that we can do we can go ahead and just put it wherever it pops up or we can cancel this and then we can scroll down to the bottom of the data column and I'm going to use this far right column which happens to be the minimum temperatures and this is what you would have done in project one so I left click in this bottom cell then I'm gonna go back to more functions to statistical and left click average you'll note that it automatically highlights all the above cells and if I left click OK it gives me the average down here and it goes from C5 which is column C row 5 all the way down to C54. So this right here is the mean. That's your average. I want to find a standard deviation. Now I can left click anywhere that I want to put it. So I'm going to left click here. I'm going to go back up to more functions to statistical. And now I'm going to scroll down to find standard deviation. Once again you're going to see a number of possibilities for standard deviation mainly we're going to be concerned with either the standard deviation of a population or the standard deviation of a sample and if you think back and look at your formulas for standard deviation you'll see that they are different since these are the 50 states we're going to go with a population because there are 50 states and that's the entire population so I left click standard or stdev.p and once again it's asking me to input 
my cells and all I'm gonna do to make this easy is left click in this cell and then I'm gonna drag all the way down to the last value in that cell and now I have the entire states data and I'll left click OK and there's my standard deviation and that's as simple as it gets